Theorem 11 for leaving cert maths. Equal segments on a transversal theorem. If three parallel lines cut off equal segments on some transversal line, then they will cut off equal segments on any other transversal. What this theorem is saying is that if the three lines L, M and N are parallel, so L, M and N are parallel, and the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C, the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C, represented by these two little red lines, then the distance from D to E is equal to the distance from E to F. The distance from D to E is equal to the distance from E to F, represented by these two little lines representing equal length. The proof of this theorem is on our course. So proof of theorem 11. What are we given? Three parallel lines AD, BE and CF such that B is on AC so B is on AC and E is on DF E is on DF and the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C what do we want to prove? that the distance from D to E is equal to the distance from E to F D to E is equal to D to F so we're trying to prove this we're given this we're trying to prove this. So I've drawn it out again down here a little bit bigger. Construction. Draw A dash C dash parallel to AC through E with A dash on AD and C dash on CF. So here's the line AC that we were given and we're drawing the line A dash C dash that's parallel to AC but goes through point E. So we had to draw the line A dash C dash parallel to AC that goes through point E, which we did, with A dash on AD, which it is. This is AD, and A dash is a point on AD and C dash on CF. So C dash is a point on CF. So basically we were given this to start off with. We were told that the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C. So we are trying to prove that the distance from D to E is equal to the distance from D to F. So all we did was draw in an extra line A dash C dash that's parallel to AB or AC but that passes through point E which is a point on the transversal DF. So now we have the proof. Consider the triangles A dash DE. So A dash DE, so this triangle up here, and C dash FE. So C dash FE, so this triangle down here. The distance from A dash to E is equal to the distance from A to B. So the distance from A dash to E is equal to the distance from A to B. So we have two little lines in red drawn to represent equal length. And we know this because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So we have a parallelogram here, which is A, B, E, A dash. And if this line is parallel to this line, then there are obviously equal length. So then A dash E is equal to B C. So A dash E is equal to B C because we were already told in the question that A B is equal to B C. So this line is equal to this line which is equal to this line. And A dash E is equal to E C dash. So E C dash is this line down here. So basically these four lines are of equal length and they have little red lines to represent that. And the angle 
E C dash F. So E C dash F. So this angle here done in green is equal to the angle E A dash D. So E A dash D. And that's coloured in green as well. And this is because of the alternate angles theorem. Remember, alternate angles inside parallel lines are equal. So we have the line AD and the line CF, they're parallel. And we have a transversal cutting through. So this angle in green must be equal to this angle in green because they are alternate to each other. Also, the angle A dash ED, so A dash ED, so this orange angle here, is equal to the angle C dash EF, so C dash EF, this orange angle here. And that is because vertically opposite angles are equal. So these angles are opposite each other, so they are equal. So the triangles A dash ED, so A dash ED, and C dash EF, C dash EF, are congruent, which means they're identical. Three equal sides, three equal lengths. And they're congruent because of ASA. Angle, included side, angle. So we have the green angle, the included side, which is A dash E, and the orange angle. And then on the bottom triangle, we have the green angle, the included side, which is E C dash, and the orange angle. So we automatically now know that all the other sides and all the other angles in the triangles are equal. So therefore, the length of DE must be equal to the length of EF. So thus DE is equal to EF. This theorem can naturally be extended to any number of equally spaced parallel lines. In the diagram opposite, if the distance from A to B is equal to the distance from B to C is equal to the distance from C to D is equal to the distance from D to E. So A to B is equal to B to C is equal to C to D is equal to D to E. And the little red lines represent equal width. Then A dash B dash is equal to B dash C dash is equal to C dash D dash is equal to D dash E dash. So shown over here with two little lines representing equal length. Let S and T be positive real numbers. So here we have a line AB and it has been cut through by the line L and the intersection of these two lines is point C. Well the distance from C to B is T and the distance from A to C is S. So S and T are positive real numbers. We say that a point C divides the segment AB in the ratio S to T. If C lies on the line AB and is between A and B and the distance from A to C divided by the distance from C to B is equal to S over T. So the distance from A to C divided by the distance from C to B is equal to S divided by T. We say that a line L cuts AB in the ratio S to T if it meets AB at a point C that divides AB in the ratio of S to T. So by the ruler axiom, this point C is unique. The following theorem states that if a line parallel to the base of a triangle divides one side in a certain ratio, then it divides the third side in the same ratio. So here we have a triangle and here we have the base of the triangle and this line here is parallel to the base of the triangle. So theorem 12 for leave insert. 
line parallel to the base of a triangle theorem. So we're going to let the triangle ABC, so A, B, C, be a triangle. If a line L is parallel to BC, which is the base of the triangle, and cuts AB in the ratio of M to N, then it also cuts AC in the same ratio. So what are we given? The triangle ABC, ABC, and a line L equal to DE, with D on AB, so D on AB, and E on AC, so point E on AC, such that DE is parallel to BC. And AD to DB, so AD to DB equals M to N. So we want to prove that AE to EC, so AE to EC equals M to N.